the 2023 World Series of Poker main event smash records. Biggest field ever. Biggest first place prize ever. Biggest buzz ever. Good work. I'm still gonna win this. Or I'm like, sorry to tell you you're not, because I'm going to win no, this. No, you're not. <laughs> and we're not even in the money. Yes, it's true. The greatest showman is gone. Wow. Again. <laughs> but this is still the greatest show, man. Isn't it better to have flopped and lost than to never have flopped at all? <laughs> Welcome back to the 2023 World Series of Poker main event. It is time for day four. It is time for the money bubble. And it is time to find out who will have their heart broken as we approach the most crucial phase of this tournament. Lon McCare, Maria Ho, and Will Jaffe on the call on PokerGo.com. And you have joined me here on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch for a free preview of the action. 1,518 players remain. 1,507 will get paid, and of course, only nine will make that final table, but we still have a long road to travel before we get there. Here's a look at the event center at the Horseshoe. All these players, of course, hoping to burst that money bubble and then advance closer and closer to that final table. Here's a look at the leaderboard presented by Storm X. It's Antonio Malol Herrera. Heredia with 1.9 million, who is our chip leader, just ahead of Chance Corner. And you saw the other names there as well on the leaderboard. So many big names, so many superstars still in the mix. But the first question of the day is, who will finish on the money bubble? There's our overall chip leader, only a few thousand chips ahead of multiple time bracelet winner Chance Corneth. Once again, my name is Remco Rinkema. Thanks for joining me here for this free preview of the action. Farah Galfon here. She's afraid she might finish on the bubble. Only eight big blinds coming into today. I can already promise you the action will be slow to start things off, but the payoff will be incredible. The top 1,507 players will all receive $15,000. And here we are with our first look at today's feature tables. We're going to rotate these tables as the day goes on. For starters, Dominic Nietzsche, the German genius, at this table and there the empty seat of 2003 main event champion Chris Moneymaker back then he won 2.5 million this year 12.1 million on the line for the eventual winner of this tournament Nietzsche 2017 his best main event run but of course he known for winning multiple World Series poker bracelets and being an overall poker genius he'll try to abuse his bubble perhaps a little bit Here's a look at those final table payouts presented by GTO Wizard. First, as I said, 12.1 million. The top nine get 900K. And if you want to take home seven figures, you've got to get at least into the top eight. 1.125 million for the top eight in this event. And here's a look at our main feature table. And there is the seat that belongs to the man who's been running over this tournament so far, Nicholas Rigby, the big man missing in action for now. Perhaps not too worried about the money bubble with that massive stack that he's been able to amass in the first couple of days of this event. Action underway here at the feature table. Cards are dealt. I can only imagine we're gonna see lots of coverage from the outer tables. I know that German streaming legend Knossi, Jens Knossala, is one of the shortest stack. Hopefully we get to see him in action. Would be cool to see Knossi make the money. Uh, I think uh, Bretsky is also in the mix. Uh, let us know in the chat who you are rooting for to make the money here on day four. The final table will be reached on day eight, so keep that in mind. Day eight, that is day four, five, six, seven, eight. Five more full days of play to get down to a final table of nine. Long road lies ahead for these players. If you enjoy this content, if you're excited about the main event, please <coughs> smash that like button. If you're catching us on Facebook or YouTube, you'll follow us on all the channels that you are catching us on. And if you're on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We got daily clips, highlights. We had Tom Dwan's blow up this morning. We had Helmut's um, exit the day prior. We'll have daily highlights, uh, recaps, all sorts of good stuff for all you poker fans out there. First hand at this feature table. Mr. Bunch raising it up. Bonacci in the small blind, ace-queen offsuit. 
Let's see if he's gonna apply some pressure here on the money bubble. Raise. 68. <coughs> 68,000 is enough. Of course, Bunch with only 259,000 doesn't want to get too creative. Bonacci with over a million chips has a great situation right now with Rigby not present. The big rig, 1.7 million chips, not at the table. Doesn't even care to show up for the money bubble. I saw a photo of him getting a foot massage prior to the action getting underway. And here's uh, Dominic Nietzsche. I, I have a king and a three. I'm playing king the three for Nietzsche. This, this is what I'm known for. One dealer, one time. Davila all in with 10-7 offsuit. We no, could no, see for. one of the few players <laughs> remaining leave this room <laughs> empty-handed. Okay, okay. I, I cannot help you with this. <laughs> I know. Come on, 10-7. Good luck. Davila indeed needs some luck here to survive. 41% though. Could be worse. Let's see the flop. King, eight. nine, six, two hearts, Bond. disaster flop for the all-in player. Looking for an offsuit eight here to stay oh, in the event. God, imagine being all-in for your tournament life, so close to the money. Jack eight. of Diamonds on the turn eight. is not going to do it. He needs an eight and an eight only, and it cannot be the eight of hearts. Also has a queen now as an out, of course. River card seven. is the seven Good of point, clubs. Good point, That's serve. not going to do it. Rough seat drop. We say yeah. goodbye to the villa. And that brings us one step closer to making the money. Yeah. You think it's going to be that fast? The chat is absolutely off the charts. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Donnie Peters about to join me here, and here's a look at the tournament summary. Yes, you did. 10,043 entries early. in this event. Heredia, 1.9 million, is our chip leader. Moneymaker and gold still in contention. Eight eliminations remaining until we reach the money. Better hand than I'm supposed to have. Al Musali raising it up. Bonacci three betting again with ace queen. Takes it down. Money bubble, of course, always a strange time in any poker tournament. Lots of tight play, lots of players stalling, wasting time. But how can you blame these people? $15,000 on the line. Just if you can just fold your way into the money. <clears throat> Raise seventeen. Leonard raising it up with King Queen offsuit. Of course, if you're, if you're a big stack and you're not worried about getting eliminated, this is the perfect time to pick up some chips and antis, blinds and antis. Excuse me. And Dickerson here in the small line. Gonna just make the call with pocket tens. Is there a tissue or a napkin that I can get? A tissue or a napkin? Or it was. This feed, of course, on a delay so we can show you all the Thank hole you. cards. Thanks. That is standard procedure for every poker tournament. Three, seven, six on this flop, two spades. Dickerson with the over pair. Let's see if Leonard wants to continue to apply pressure here. Check. Action goes check, check. Small pot here, 50k in the middle. Dickerson is going to lead out with pocket tens. 17. Leonard's going to let it go, and Dickerson takes this one down. 
Alexander Botez still in the mix. You can see her name requested in the chat quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. And uh, Rigby still not here. Doesn't seem to care about the early action here on the money bubble. We are not hand for hand yet, but we're approaching it quickly. Heading over here to the main ballroom. Boxing superstar Ryan Garcia has also not arrived yet. Perhaps not worried either about the money bubble. Of course, he's got plenty of chips. Here's a look at the biggest stacks, 237 big blinds. One big blind was the shortest stack. I'm sure that player already out the door. Still six main event champions in the field and 1,518 players starting today. No players remaining from Arcadia, California. Not sure what that is reference referenced to, but I'm sure you guys who watched the broadcast last night are up to date on that inside joke there. A752 diamonds on the flop. That's me. Dominic Nietzsche oh, yeah. applying maximum pressure here. Oh, Raising with his gut shot. Andrews lets it go and Nietzsche chipping up. Now up to. Close to 800,000 chips, almost 100 big blinds. Must be nice to be a top pro and have that many chips to your disposal. Can you grab this for me? Of course. If you're catching us on YouTube, please hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 likes here in this first mm -hmm. hour. That'd be amazing. Last night, by the way, we broke all the records as we look at a bio sheet here for Dominic Nietzsche, the founder of GTO. DTO Poker, fifth on Germany's all-time money list, the winner of four World Series of Poker bracelets. Great, 16,000. We had 43,000 people watching Tom Dwan on the feature table yesterday. We had 10,000 likes in only two hours. It was an incredible show. Giving you a daily appetizer here on our social channels before the big guns take over on PokerGo.com. Main event basically controlling my life. All I can do is watch poker. Just want to see how these storylines develop. How do you guys and girls feel about Ryan Garcia and Nick Rigby not being present? When the day starts, do you think? Do you think it's disrespectful? Do you think it's just not smart because you can win so many chips, or is it perhaps the smart move to avoid the very slow play at the start of what's going to be a 12-hour day for all these players? Perhaps getting a massage in, taking it easy, getting off to a late start. Nietzsche, of course, is going to continue raising every single hand. Queen-7 offsuit under the gun, good enough for him. Sigliano in the big line, 7-4 offsuit. Very short stack. Clearly going to waste some time here. You can't really fault these players for wasting time. Look at Dominic looking over at perhaps the tournament director. Wanting to call the clock. Let us know in the chat how you feel about time wasting on the bubble. Just coffee. Just coffee. Just coffee. Here's a look at Dominic Nietzsche, who took an Uber from the Bellagio to the Horseshoe. I tweeted at Dominic saying, if you can't spot the sucker, of course, the walk from the Horseshoe to the Bellagio takes fewer than 10 minutes. If you're a Vegas insider, you know the way. Take that walkway across Las Vegas Boulevard. You only have to spend about two minutes outside of the Vegas heat. Seven six diamonds for Tubi here. 
Also, as you can see on the screen, a very short stack, only 39 big blinds. Does play still relatively fast. Everyone, of course, eyeing that money bubble. And I can already promise you that total chaos will ensue as soon as that money bubble bursts. Everyone is going to go mental with all-ins. And a long line of people will queue in order to receive their minimum payout of $15,000 as Chris Moneymaker raises it up with Ace-5 offsuit. I wonder if Dominic Nietzsche will play back at Moneymaker. But because they both have similar stacks, they might want to avo avoid each other for now. Seeing some people in the chat asking about Tom Dwan. Durr has been eliminated. We posted the clip of his elimination on YouTube. I called it a blow up, not in the Phil Helmut kind of sense, but just because he had so many chips left when he got eliminated, taking a risky approach to a situation in this tournament that you know, may, may or may not have could have been avoided. Sigliano, again with the stalling. Six deuce offsuit, of course. We all know he's not going to play that, but he's more concerned about not having to pay another round of blinds and antis. Dominic Nietzsche just going to defend here from the big line with Jack-9 offsuit. Nietzsche and Moneymaker, probably the most likely players to play aggressive on this bubble. Both with lots of experience and <laughs> lots of money won in their poker careers as the turn gives Nietzsche a straight and Moneymaker is left with top pair. Moneymaker perhaps thinking... Nietzsche is going to defend very light here. I can maybe get some value here for my weak ace. Bad news for the former champ, though. I'm trying to, I'm trying to answer as many questions in the chat that I can see. Uh, Doug Polk still in the tournament. I think he has over 600,000 chips. Okay. 66,000. Nish is going to lead out here for more than a pot-sized bet. you got to love the way the German is playing. Trying to abuse the bubble, trying to put Moneymaker in a tough spot. Of course, as soon as we get too close to the money, hand for hand will be in play. If you're new to the main event, hand for hand means that every table will play one hand, and then we wait for all the hands to be completed before the action continues. This ensures that we know exactly who finishes on the money bubble. And if two players get eliminated at the same time, they will split the prize money of the last spot on the payout sheet. And Chris Moneymaker, good recognition, assuming that Niche is not trying to mess with him specifically, Let's go with a, a top pair of aces. Well done, Chris Moneymaker. Here's a look at some of our main event champions still remaining in the field. Mr. Jamie Gold. There's Joe Cadena, of course, two-time main event finalist, one of the best to ever do it. And there's Johnny Chan, back-to-back -back winner, runner-up in the year after, could have had three in a row. Scott Blumstein is still in the mix. Love following along with these former champs. There's Joe Hashem. Looking sharp as always. These guys have done it before, and they know how to do it again. Wouldn't that be something if we see a former champ back at the main event final table? All right, seven eliminations away now from making the money. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Ace two suited for Moneymaker. It's going to raise it up. Sigliano, Queen Jack offsuit. I'm going to bet my life savings that this guy is not going to play this hand. 
His goal is to make the money. There's no reason for him to take any risks. He's just taking it slow, making sure that people on other tables are getting eliminated. Got to respect the grind. $15,000 on the line. You don't want to take massive risks in a spot like this when you can fold your way into the money. And you could even spin it up. I told the story earlier, Martin Stashko, runner-up back in 2011, finished second to P.S. Heinz. I believe he was down to one big blind on the money bubble. The bubble burst, Stashko went on a massive run to win millions of dollars in the main event. Phil Helmuth will not be among those in the money. He busted earlier. All these days are from starting here. to blend together. You didn't see them need that walk? I would have given Well, let's walk. put it this way. If I didn't raise, you were going to get shoved in the small blind. Lied. He was going to shove you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor, just making it small. He was going to put you all in. I'm giving you a chance to see a flop. <laughs> very generous. I'm a very nice guy like that. You're very welcome. Haven't even seen the cards yet of Tubi. But of course, his main concern is finishing in the money. And with 39,000 chips, I think he can, he can fold his way into the money, honestly. Just think about how many more hands you have to fold. One orbit right now costs 20k. So he basically has two orbits. Two orbits is what? 19 hands, 18 hands. Depending on how many players are at the table. That's a lot of poker. I would be real nervous if I thought you had an actual decision. <laughs> you never know, Chris. You never know. No, I know. Cool. Cool. Whoa, what is happening here? Tubi makes the call. That's basically wrong. a commit to his stack. I'm shocked to see this. Nah, I still know, but I was wrong. Ace, five, ten. We know Moneymaker has ace, deuce of diamonds. Tubi must have a really strong hand. It's kind of exciting not knowing what he has. I can only imagine. He's going to play this for a stack, unless he has kings or queens, which is definitely a possibility. This is kind of dramatic, actually. A six of clubs, and perhaps the other card not betting, getting now? red. That would be cool. <laughs> the speech play. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on here? Tubi called the race before the flop, has the six of clubs and an unknown card. I guess the reader has not picked up on his card. And now on ace 10 5, I mean, best case scenario for him, he has a six of clubs. Even that seems unlikely in this spot. Chris Moneymaker, is he, is he mocking his opponent? Is he, is he rubbing the sleep out of his eyes? I don't really know what's going on here. To be checked, that's what and he of was course, gonna do. Moneymaker puts his opponent all in. We all we all expected this. We all saw this coming from Chris Moneymaker. But now what does Tubi have? And is he going to risk his tournament life? This is, a, this is a pretty insane situation. Sixes or A6 are the only two logical hands I can think of he could possibly have here. Of course, A6 would be uh, quite a nice situation here.
And Tubi taking his time here. Oh, what I would give I would give some serious coin to find out what the second card is. This is killing me. Good days. What's that? Good days. I am sorry, clock. Clock. Four. Four to table B. Never mind. Oh, wow. The call is made by Tubi, and we're going to see a showdown here. Chris Moneymaker shows Ace Deuce. 15. And Tubi has A6, but they're not even suited. And still, he's in a great spot to double up on the money bubble. What a massive risk to take here. Only a few eliminations away from the money. It sounds as though we're now actually hand for hand. I'm sorry? How much did he have behind the flop? Like 15 or 15. Four oh, of spades card. on the card. turn. Oh, that's a good card for you. Fun card. Moneymaker can send Tubi to the rail if he hits a three or a deuce. You like that card? You like that card? Tubi like now with a better chance yeah, to win. You like anything but a, but a three or a, but you don't like a five. But no. There it is. Five on the river. Yeah, Chop it up. That's an interesting question. Do you want the four or do you not in this situation right now? I think no. I think you don't want the four. Think about it. That was the chance percentage of busting. No, you're not. For me, I didn't really care. I don't, don't care. I don't care either. I was just saying it's fun to think about, no? For him, he wants the four. Nice answer. Well, his percentage yeah, of busting goes up by X, but his yeah, but doubling. But still, his percentage he can double too. I, 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 I'm gambling. I, 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 I know you're. Right. <laughs> I, know. I just thought it was interesting. How did you feel about the four? You like the four, or did you not like the four? I like the four. You like the four, okay. okay. But not the five. <laughs> not the five. <laughs> You're a greedy man. Yeah. Right. Greedy. Uh, Let's take the match. I must. <laughs> Better than a two or a three. Or three. Well, for his purposes, uh, that worked fine. All right, swinging back over to the main feature table. Oh, who is that man? Who is that man in the eight seat? The big rig has finally showed up. Show Nicholas Rigby some love in the chat. He's going to be. He's going to be our main event during the main event for these first couple of hours. I can only imagine he's going to raise every single hand as we take a look here at the table that features three-time Super Bowl champion Richard Seymour and the gentleman in the one seat, Mr. Stephen Chidwick. Pretty incredible to have these guys battling deep in the main event. By the way, are we deep in the main event right now? When are you deep in the main event? When you're in the money? When you're on you know, day four? Maybe deep in the main event means top 100 as we get a look at Chidwick's bio sheet from Deal, England. It sounds like a fake place, just like Chris Moneymaker. Sounds like a fake name. Fourth on poker's all-time money list. A deep run here could send him up to 50 million in total earnings. And there it is. Former defensive end for the New England Patriots. Member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Richard Seymour. Trust me when I say this. This man knows how to play. Back over to the Grand Ballroom. Only three more eliminations needed to get us into the money. Interesting to see if we see any big clashes, perhaps, and not just short, short stacks get eliminated. By the way, if you're catching us on YouTube, all we ask of you is to subscribe to our channel right now. Do it right now. Some notables in the field. I've seen this man before, Jason Mercer bracelet winner this year. Ben Lamp, PLO crusher, former main event finalist as well. Chance Corneth can't do nothing wrong. He's uh, crushing everyone. Next to Sam Stein, also a PLO genius. There's Jason Kuhn. God, can you imagine deep in the main event sitting next to Jason Kuhn? Take my blinds every time. Chris Brewer and Chris Vich side by side. Brewer, of course, two-time bracelet winner this summer. Got the monkey off his back and now deep in the main with a big stack. You see Faraz Jaka there on the second table in the purple colored shirt. So many big time pros still with a big stack. Here's a look at Victor Ramden. 
Looks like we've got a serious pot brewing here. That's 110K. Still three more eliminations needed to make the money. Victor Ramlin, known for his aggressive playing style, has been in the game for many decades, has had success all over the world. He's not someone to mess with. Yeah, get a photo of that. Put it on the gram. There it is. And that's a fold. Victor Ramon is going to pick up the pot here on the money bubble. This is the ballroom where all the tables are located except for those three feature tables that we're showing you guys at home. Here's a tournament update. Heredia, still our chip leader with 1.89 million chips. I'm sure he's won a few more since the start of the day. I can only imagine that if you're the chip leader on the bubble, you're going to raise every single hand. And everyone, of course, with their eye on that 15K payout. That minimum payout that'll basically just make sure you can play this event again next year. Subway for dinner. Nicholas Rigby, poker dealer from South Park, Pennsylvania. The Pittsburgh man finished 52nd in the main event back in 2021. Saturday. I just did it. Saturday. I just did it. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Rigby with the big stack, 1.7 million. I think he raised every single hand Saturday since buying into the tournament. Into the final four. I know, By the way, we have full day coverage of this event on available on PokerGo.com. If you're new to PokerGo, please subscribe right now. Use promo yeah, code DREAM30 the, uh, to save $30 on your annual subscription. Uh, Got to hydrate. Chew big red or fuck off. <laughs> if you don't chew big red, then fuck you. It did not get any cooler from up here on the other day. Come on, man. Don't you have some pool? Yeah, let's get a little air. What? Let's get a little air. Wait, Denny, turn off this fan, too? Come on. Yeah. Germs. <laughs> Surfer. <laughs> what? <coughs> yeah. We go back over to the ballroom as we wait for every single hand to be completed in the main event. Yes, this is the slowest part of the tournament, but it is also necessary to find out who will get paid and who will go home empty-handed. Cameras going around the room. I really hope we can get a glimpse of Knossi and Bretsky. Those seem to be two of our fan favorite. Maybe some Alexandra Botez action. We're hand for hand, three players away, or three eliminations away from the money. If you're enjoying the coverage, please smash that like button. Let's get us up to 3,000 likes on our YouTube feed. Charlie Cherisi announcing to the room the rules of hand for hand play. <laughs> 
action folding around here at the feature table as hand for hand play is now underway. Wernacci <coughs> with Jack 8 offsuit raising it up to 18k. Dickerson finds King Queen offsuit in the small blind. He's just going to make the call. <coughs> three, three, five on the flop. We're not actually going to continue. Dickerson left with King High, which is the best hand. By the way, look at that jewelry. The watch, the necklace, and the glasses. This man might parlay that min cash into some more jewelry. It is interesting, you know, when you're sporting that nice looking jewelry, players might assume you don't care about the money. Maybe you'll get them to bluff a bit more. <coughs> Dickerson indeed check calls with King High. Let's see if Bonacci wants to continue firing. Thirty five K is the bet from Bonashi here on the turn. And Dickerson lets it go. Bonacci abusing the bubble a little <laughs> bit. And now, of course, nervous, huh? the big wait continues as we, we look to see if we're going to get a I'm step closer to finding it. out who finishes on the You're money nervous. bubble. Swinging on over here to the moneymaker Dominic Niche table. Dominic, of course, involved. He raises with a6 offsuit. Ward has ace-king offsuit and might be considering all in. All something in here. He moves all in from the big blind. That'll do it. That's got to look so incredibly strong to Mr. Niche that he happily Let's go of his A6 uh, I, I used to. <laughs> I, I know, but you got to yeah. fix I, uh, I got a lot of, uh, I sold, thank God I sold a, a Steph Curry that basically got Just waiting to see if we can lose three more players on this hand. If not, hand for hand action will continue. It's a different game. I mean, you know, back when I won, there was 839 people. Now we have 10,043. I mean, that's ridiculous. I had 800 people waiting in late reg line. I mean, that's more than I had to beat in the whole year I won. The game has evolved so much. There's so many resources now that you can sit here, watch poker on TV, and then go learn how to play and actually compete the next year if you want to. That's what makes poker so great. At least you're not the doctor. Chris Moneymaker, the best ambassador we could have hoped for when he won that event back in 03. It's awesome to see him go deep in the main event again. I believe he said he went 10 straight years without cashing the main event after he won it. But the last few years, he's made some deep runs. I think Moneymaker making the main event final table again. Probably one of the best storylines we could have ever hoped for if that were to be the case. All right, back over to the Grand Ballroom. Can we see another all-in? I'd love to see someone get eliminated. Shout out to everyone who is watching our bubble coverage right now on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have daily clips and highlights going out from the main event. Of course, we'd love for you to subscribe to Poker Go. But if you're not in a position to do so, we totally understand. That's why we have clips and highlights. If you do want to subscribe to Poker Go, make sure to use promo code DREAM30 to save $30 on your annual subscription. Got a all-in bet here from the player on the right-hand side of your screen, and the person in the colorful jacket is deciding for his tournament life. This is not what you want when you're playing on the money bubble. Looks like 200, 240, maybe 250,000 chips remaining 
for the player in the colorful jacket. We're on the turn. Unless you have the nuts, good luck playing for stacks at this point in the tournament. This is the only tournament of the entire poker calendar where the money bubble is this slow because, of course, 1,507 players are going to get paid, meaning that there's so many tables still in play. Action moves so slowly. And this gentleman here on the left is taking his time to figure out whether he should risk his tournament life. He does. He makes the call. And now we got to wait because now every hand on every table needs to be completed before we can table the cards. Massive situation here. I want to guess and say there's about 700,000 chips in the middle here. King 10, Ace 6 on the board there. Quickly going to pan away to see if there's other tables still playing right now. We're going to show you that showdown. But we have to wait until every hand is completed. There is a potential right now that we're going to lose one player and be only two eliminations away from the money, from making the money. There it is on screen. Only three eliminations away from the money bubble. Faraz Jaka standing up. He, of course, not worried about that money bubble as we await that all-in showdown of the, of the table that we just showed you. Let us know in the chat. Do you want that poor guy in the colorful jacket to hit the rail? <laughs> or do you want this hand-for-hand -hand money bubble coverage to continue? Our camera searching for any other tables that might still be in play. The way this works is that we get a showdown for an all-in player when all the action is completed because then we can do the tally of how many players were eliminated on that hand and of course we don't want to miscount the amount of players that were sent to the rail and if there are multiple eliminations on the money bubble that means that the final payout will be split between those players right now three off the money so for that to happen we need four eliminations on this hand that's not going to happen that is absolutely impossible now when we're out one here off. on the ballroom floor, hand for hand at the main. Good time for us to catch up with the 2005 champ, Joe Hashem. Joe, how would you describe the, the atmosphere, the environment on the bubble at the World Series of Poker main event? Uh, the best way to describe it is huge anticipation. Mm. You know, the guys that are short stacked, they're just like, please God, <laughs> let it go fast. Uh, and the rest of us are just happy to get through because once we get through the bubble, then you can just continue to play. And you see chips flying and then it'll settle down and then we'll start playing poker again. This is a, a very interesting time of the tournament always because people are trying to survive, people are trying to accumulate chips and there are the rest of the people in the middle who are just waiting for it to finish so we can play poker. Everybody's paying attention to that magic number on the clock. I want to point to another number up there, 10,043 entrants at the main. What runs through your mind when you hear that? Well, it's du almost double the number that I had to beat in 2005 and in 2023 for it to be that big without all the online satellites that were, you know if you, if you think back to 2005 2006 2004 the number of online satellites from poker stars full tilt party poker was incredible and they they just don't exist anymore so there's a lot of people who still want to play poker and are happy to come and put up ten thousand dollars you know Good for poker, good for us, right? You're good for poker. Have a seat. Best of luck rest of the way. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thank Appreciate you. it. Joe Hashem, poker legend, one of the best ambassadors of the game. And here's a look at 2000's poker boom, Carlos Mortensen, the first South American main event champion born in Ecuador back in 2001. And then, of course, Moneymaker sparking it all in 03. Jamie Gold winning the largest main event ever. And the record of Joe Cata still stands, 21 years old, winning the main event back in 2009. Let us know if the guy in the colorful jacket is still in. Come on, Jack Geffel.
Show us the action. The chat is waiting. Everybody's losing their mind. We'll let him play like four tables out there. Here it is. Here it is. Well, what do we got? What do we got? Wow, two pair ace king on this ace king high board versus a set of tens. And there it is. We lost the player. Now just two eliminations away from making the money. Incredible scenes here at the horseshoe. We're following Jack Effel here. All right, the dealers are instructed to take their seats, which means all hands have been completed. Action back underway. We're going to play one hand and find out if we're going to be in the money. By the way, if you're enjoying this madness, if you're enjoying our main event coverage, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on our highest number of total viewers, approaching that 40,000 mark, which is absolutely insane. Two more out the door before everyone else is guaranteed 15K. Can we hit 5,000 likes during the money bubble? How about, how about we set that as a goal? And Rigby bought himself some sunglasses, anticipating a deep run in this tournament. And joining me right now, the man who hates to be here, the man who would love to be in this tournament right now, who fell just short of making the money in the main event, Donnie Peters. I don't know about just short. How close did you get? Uh, probably 24, 2300, something like that. Close enough. In, in that realm. Closer than me. Closer than anyone in the chat. Al Musali raising up the 20K. Bonacci, who has been our most aggressive player here in the early goings, raising it up to 66K. Of course, Donnie. You want to abuse this bubble, apply as much pressure as possible. But if you're if you're Al Musali, are we just gonna get it in here? Cool. I mean, I, I don't think you're trying to get this in for a bazillion big blinds each. Come seven high, always come in seven, Remco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even clubs out there for the man with the shorter stacks. Checks over to Bonacci. He's probably just going to bet his hand here with this top set. Can't see Al Muselli here continuing with this hand. But hey, you never know. I heard him say it. Well, he is going to call. Look at that. Okay. Jack of clubs on the turn. Okay. And Muselli checks. Expect another bet here from Bonacci. 226k in the middle. The bet is 90,000. Muselli here is going to continue on with just the ace high, the ace king high, to be exact. A big, big non believer. Seven of clubs on the river, quads for Bonacci. Quads on the money bubble of the main event. I mean, that must feel nice. What, do you, what else do you want in life after this? If you were ever possibly worried about some sort of straight, which, which I would think is unlikely, set of jacks, stuff like that, then all of that has gone away because you just made the nuts, sir.
quad sevens here. And he's going to get bet into. Look at this. Wow. Ace King High is going to lead this river. At this point, if you're Bonacci, I, I think it's fair to give Al Museli pocket jacks here at some point. So he bets 185. He leaves 364 behind. Sized well for Bonacci here to shove. All in. All in. And there's the all in shove with quads. The easiest poker decision of his entire life right here on the main event money bubble as Al Musali has just <laughs> made a bit of a misstep. Wow. Good thing for him. He still has chips behind. Yeah, if he folds. <laughs> I mean, I, we are expecting him to fold, of course, but... Of course, El Musali thinking, maybe I can apply some pressure here because it's the money bubble. Not knowing that he's that ran into the quads. There. And Bonacci now up almost 500k to start the day. This man has won, I think, with the exception of perhaps one hand, every hand at this table. Nicholas Rigby missed the first four. A clash between <laughs> Rigby and Bonacci is just a matter of time. And now the big wait begins as we, of course, are going to pan into the room to find out who will bust on the money bubble. Here we are, back in the grand ballroom, looking for some action, hoping to see another all-in. I was out there running around the field. It's, it's madness. <laughs> it's absolute madness out there. But it's good. It's good madness. It's it's the quiet before the storm, Donnie, because once this bubble bursts, it's going to be total chaos with probably... There it is, Charlie Cherisi. Charlie Cherisi making sure that well, everything there, runs There's smooth. been a lot of standing on chairs oh, by boy. players trying to get a, a heightened vantage point of what's going on in the room. Multiple times they've had to announce, please get off the chairs. Oh, my God. No, what I wanted to point out is that we'll probably lose 500 players in the next two hours as soon as the bubble bursts. Yeah, probably. Th there is, um, within that 500 that you referenced, there is one pay jump when you get 1507 cash and then you get to 1250. All right, I think it's time to get an interview with our big man, the big Rick, our own Kara Scott, catching up with Nicholas Rigby, who showed up a little bit late to the start of play here on day four. I guess nobody else is hearing this either. F in the chat for the man who cut the cord here. 
Kara Scott and Rigby chatting. And I feel as though we lost the connection to the mic here. Well, at least they cut, haven't cut my mic off. So if you're catching this, please know that we also can't hear it here. I mean, you would so think someone would want to be there to be idiots, right? On, right absolutely. Well, good luck here on the bubble. Thanks, thanks for talking to us. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wow. Just at the very end there. What a tease. What a tease there. There he is, the man, Nicholas Rigby. With all the exposure I've gotten in the last 48 hours, you'd think I'd look like Rick, like Ricky Bobby's race car at the table, but still no love. If you want to sponsor this man, GTO underscore diaper, go hit him up on social media. As apologies there for the audio issues. We did not hear it either. Big all in here in the ballroom. Yeah, all in on the call. Aces versus eight six of diamonds. Five four three on the flop. So the eight six of diamonds that has the player covered does flop. Some outs here. Nothing on the turn. Just a nine. Jack on the river. Aces stay alive. Total madness in the room. Jack Eiffel can barely make his way through the aisle here. Sorry again for that little hiccup there as the aces hold up. I think there might be a second all in as well on this hand. Yeah, here we go. Charlie oh. Cerisi leading the way. Jack Eiffel trailing behind. Going to announce the action here. Uncle Ron there still in the mix. Doug Polk there on the right. Oh, yes. We're getting a little bit of a look at some of the players still remaining. Wow. Who is that, Donnie Peters? Michael Mizrocki, the grinder, going deep. 19 all in. Shortest stack coming back to today. <laughs> a little sweat here. Player hasn't looked at his cards yet. Wow, and now we are on the official money bubble, just one elimination away from the rem remainder of the field getting paid at least $15,000. Brett Ritchie there still in the mix, saw him in on the left-hand side of the screen. Last I've heard, Bretsky and Knossi are still in with a chance to make the money. Uncle Ron getting a high five from Jack Effel. Gotta love Uncle Ron. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on a short delay for the integrity of the game. But the delay aside, this is live. This is Las Vegas. This is Sin City. This is the greatest poker tournament of the year. Donnie, this is what the game is all about. This moment, the this money is. bubble. <laughs> this, I mean. The tension could not be any higher in that room. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the feature table to we go. Yeah. Great property, great floor. One hand going to be played. Seems like a whole I know a guy that might disagree tournament. with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so quiet in here. Never say a bad word about them. Their elevators don't work I'm not that talking good. about myself. I know. The elevators don't work that good, but it's okay. You can only slap so many people before you start getting banned from casinos. How or they get the number. Or the receiving end does. In Pittsburgh, it's it's not two. It's not that. two. But if you're on the receiving end in Pittsburgh, you're getting booted. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little update here thinking. for everyone watching. <laughs> We're going to keep our stream yeah, going yeah. until we reach the money. Oh. So this is supposed to be a one-hour preview. That's We're already one hour in. True. We want to make sure that you guys 
are going to catch the money bubble. So there you go. We're going to keep this stream rolling until we reach the money. Mm, had me. Just make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. That's all we ask for here on our free stream. Yesterday. Much love to everyone out there tuning in. And uh, quick reminder. And Poker Go is live all day today. So subscribe to Poker Go. We have monthly, quarterly, and annual subscriptions available. I promise you. Treat the main event like a pay-per-view event, Donnie, because this is not the type of tournament you want to miss out on. Yeah. I mean, if you're a poker fan, you have to tune in to watch the World Series of Poker main event. You have to. I thought you were going to wear this shirt with your face on. I've been studying this DTO thing. It's, it's pretty good. So Thank I know. you. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I take commissions. <laughs> I'll slap a patch on you if we make it deep. What's that? I'll give you a patch if we make it deep. I'm not even kidding. Oh, I get a patch. Hey. If we get on the main stage? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I got to carry him in the main stage first. We got to somehow make it to the main stage, though. Like, if Rick be dusted off, we could make it, right? <laughs> Chance. <laughs> Might. I don't know. It's only Rick be on this table, but they have hires. Hires and chips. Dominic Nietzsche with an homage to the to the great one. As long as Rigby's running, he's probably going to stay up there. I agree, yeah. Hashem's out in the field, too. Hashem. I think Joe Codd is still in the field. Yeah, I saw him yesterday. There's still some names. Doug Polk's out there somewhere. Yep. I think just one name is not enough. Unless you're Rigby, apparently. Hey, Moneymaker know, and catch, Dominic Nietzsche chatting back and forth it. while action is on Ward. We saw him shove earlier with Ace King. Now he has two sevens. Wouldn't be surprised given it's funny. They like, they given, like given his fight, lack fight of guys. care to make the money <laughs> to move it in here again because Nietzsche, of course, TV, has to have the widest range imaginable. But he does let it go. That? Totally That's understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the truth. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a, There's no average here. <laughs> true. I, I mean, it's obviously because it's like the, the every man can do it kind of thing, you know. I think I've lost too much weight to, to get the feature. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason, yeah. I've still got 100 to go, though, so I've lost 24. But you have that workout bet or something, or am I imagining it? What's that? Wasn't there a work, workout bet, this custom weight loss bet or something? Yeah. No, Dave did the weight loss yeah, thing, I and, I, and I jumped in, and they, people offered me yeah. like weight loss yeah. bets, and I said, no, I'm just going to do it to do it. Oh, yeah, that's what you, yeah, okay. Because, I mean, if I do a weight loss bet, I'll do it wrong, and I won't keep it off. I hear you, yeah, that's not good. Andrews does defend against Nisha's open, the 9-8 of spades. He flops second pair on an ace-9-6 board. But Nisha is going to continue. And Andrews gives it up. Power of the big stack. Of course, you know, all these bets by Dominic Nietzsche are totally automatic. We're playing one hand at a time. It's extremely slow here on the bunny bubble. We're an hour into coverage of day four. And we still have about nine, actually more than nine hours of play left on day four here. Jumping into another interview. I'm just going to talk over this because I know we're having some audio issues here with our interviews. This is Mr. Bonacci, already up half a million chips since the day started. Franco Bonacci, also from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Donnie. Wow. We can see some Pittsburgh on Pittsburgh action here as Nick Rigby also prou proudly represents the Yinzers. Shout out Matt Berkey. Shout out Pittsburgh. Um, much love to everyone in the chat. 40,000 people watching on YouTube. We got a couple thousand on Poker Go, we got a couple thousand on Facebook, we got a couple thousand on Twitch. The love for poker is incredible. It is awesome to see. And the more you guys engage with our channels, the more uh, free stuff we can do in the future. Um, Give us the inside scoop on him. September. It's not like he's standing right behind the camera or in front of the camera, in fact. <laughs> There's Nick Rigby stepping uh, into the frame. Um, you know, just a very creative, creative attention catch those, Just follow us on Twitter. I'm, I'm sure our Can you describe social media manager a typical Sam Pittsburgh cash game grinder then? Well, we'll leave it away from him. I don't, because uh, I don't want too many people coming to Pittsburgh. We're, we're content with our population. Stay out of Pittsburgh is what he's saying, everybody. Okay, well, I'm going to let you get back to the table. Thanks for talking to us.
a lot of mm. all-in moves. Stoic time. This could also be a great time to perhaps slow down a little bit to avoid perhaps taking massive risks and let sort of the dust settle a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it'll depend on what sort of chip stack you have. If you're a... Well, it's funny. We wanted to chat with Farrah Galfon, so Mike on our Steadicam ran over here, and just everybody followed Mike because they thought that you were maybe all in, and, yeah. and you, you are not all in yet. I have three and a half big blinds. Um, thankfully, the blinds just passed me. I'm hoping to squeak in there. I wish I knew for sure if the stone bubble mm. received a seat for next year because that would sort of change my um, strat here because yeah. uh, I would be fine with that. I don't know. Does anyone want to let me know? I am not going to let you know. Thank you. I'm very sorry about that. Um, what do you remember the most from the bubble experience last year? As you were able to get in the money then? A little uh, bit different scenario. It was different, yeah. I mean, I had like 40 big blinds, so. It's slightly this different. Is, yeah. There's a guy by the name of Chance Corneth at your table. He has a lot of chips. He's, yeah. he's two to your left. What, what kind of a presence has he been at this table so far? Well, you know, he just <laughs> opens every hand and he's doing what he's supposed to do. So, uh, listen, I'm hoping he doubles me up at least nine times once this bubble bursts. Just, and then just, we'll be in business. Just nine double ups from Chance. Appreciate the time. Yeah. Thanks, Fair. Enjoy Thank the you. paparazzi over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff Flatt with an update from Farrah Galfond, one of the short stacks in the field. In my about 20 minutes out there walking the, the field earlier, I think 12 people asked me exactly what Farrah Galfond just act, asked uh, Jeff. Will 1508 receive a seat to next year? They never announce it because it'll obviously change the dynamics of who the actual bubble person is, so <laughs> you, you really have no idea. Although, every time I've been at the WC main event, yes, that person has gotten some. But we'll see. A lot well, of standing around during this hand for hand, man. Yeah, it's, it's not the most exciting part of a poker tournament, but it is exciting to find out who will ultimately be the player finishing on the bubble. Um, if you're looking to join our Poker Go coverage after this free stream concludes, please know that Lon McCarran, Maria Ho, and Will Jaffe are on the call. The best things in life are free. Recent giveaway contests. The WSOP main event, 30 years worth of seats worth 300K. What's this other stuff, Donnie? I wasn't involved in any of these. Yeah, I, I didn't, like, McDonald's didn't call me. <laughs> Telling me I can get, you know, Big Macs for life. Ah, so, I don't know. But I guess you can make, get McDonald's food for free for 50 years? Just think of the medical bills. <laughs> 300K doesn't even cover that. Eating McDonald's for 50 years straight might not be advised. The main event seat for 30 years now, I mean, that would, that's a dream. Yeah. It I'm is. in the raffle, okay? <laughs> you I'm are. I'm in the raffle. Yeah. I have a shot. I have a shot. Charlie Cherisi with some more announcements here as we stay up to date on all the latest regarding the money bubble. We got it all in. Oh, beautiful. Let's crack this bubble, ladies and gentlemen. Let's crack this bubble. Jamie Gold there at the table next to the all in player. That means sit in your chair. What did you fold down there? A question. Is seat a call? I like if you just call it. I don't see any way that we're just giving them all. I love it. 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 I 37,000 chips. I heard aces versus queens. Jamie Gold there in the middle. The 06 main event champ, current winner of the largest prize in main event history, down to only a few chips himself. So he's got a ticket to the dance. That's all that matters. <laughs> that is true. Is that a Martin Suzor? He looks a lot like him. It is. It is Martin Suzor. 
from Hungary. Top pro for many, many years. 4.6 million in career tournament earnings. Suzor has two runner-up finishes at the EPT and multiple World Series final tables. Everyone got their phone out. By the way, been hearing some comments about the quality of the feed not being optimal. I've been told that the uh, bit rate that YouTube has given us is a bit off the mark. The PokerGo feed looks exactly as it should be looking, so I'll be sending my complaints to YouTube in just a minute. Either way, much love to everyone tuned in as we're still waiting for all hands to be completed. And here's Richard Seymour again here, of course, with this audio disconnect. By the way, that bag that Richard Seymour is carrying around, probably worth the min cash there as the three-time NFL or Super Bowl champion is uh, sharing his story about this tournament with Kara Scott. Legend. Frust very frustrating for us to have to deal with these audio issues. Make a run. Is it nice to be able to sit down as this is your hobby and not kind of have all of the pressure of the bubble, or do you still feel it a bit? Uh, well, I'm, I'm here to win. Yeah. So, I mean, if I go out, I go out. I'm, you know, whatever it is, it is. You know, and I, like I said, I've enjoyed my time. And, um, you know, it's still, it's still a lot of play left, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. I've made a deep run, I think it was 2019. And uh, I've learned from that. So, you know, like I said, you know, we'll just see what happens. And um, like I said, I'm enjoying it. Now, I know you've played a lot of uh, poker over your career, both at the tables here, kind of, you know, in a semi-professional sort of way, but also when you're out playing with your, you know, football buddies. So who is the best player that you think from your football career at poker? Oh, wow. Um, you can't pick yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I certainly, I, I probably don't even qualify. Um, but it's a lot. It's a lot of guys. We we play on the back of the planes. Um, uh, let me try to. I, I, if I had to say, I'd probably say um, maybe Marcel Reese. He played with me for the Raiders. I may go with him. Um, it's a couple really good players. But and here's the thing. Like for me, I don't even like to play for big money. I like to play for the competitive spirit and the pride of beating my buddy. That's, that's more important. <laughs> <laughs> Bragging rights are always a little bit more important. Okay. I'm going to let you get back to the table. Thanks so much for talking to us and good luck out here. On and a call here. Jack Apple on the scene. All the money's in. The cards are out. Let's flip up the hands. Versus a pair of jacks. Looks like the all in player has the best hand with a pair of jacks. Oh, I'm sorry. Does he have any cover? No, he's the all in player. I don't swear the button. He wins the hand. I understand he wins the bet, but I don't see an all in button. Okay. He didn't bust. He doubled up. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, that's a double up there. Dealers, let's make sure you put the all in button in front of the all in player so we don't have to count down. And I believe we have another all in situation here. Jack making his way across the room. Here we go again. Classic race, ace king versus queens. Ace King Jack on the flop. Comes a five. That's no five on the turn. Aces and kings are good. Aces and kings Four are good. on the river. Ace King is the shorter stack, and he is going to double up, stay alive. Everyone clear out. There is a third table with an all in and a call. See a replay here. The player with the ace king fades that river, gets the double. Right, squeeze on in there, Jack. Let's see this one. Queen of 
Queens versus Aces. The all-in player at risk with the burgers. Jamie Gold hugging him, holding on. Let's see if he can double. Eight, nine, seven. Three on the turn. It's to fade a queen. Six on the river. The all in player will double up. Three all ins, three double ups <laughs> on that hand of hand for hand play on the bubble of the World Series of Poker main event. Viewers going to get back in their chairs and get ready for one more hand of hand for hand play. Back on over to our main feature table. What? Was that the over under was three. Well, right. Or was that the first one? No, it's been two. Oh, it's been two, right? Get three chances at it. Not standing on chairs. I don't want to see that, okay? This is for your protection, for your safety. Nachi here gonna stay aggressive on the bubble still. Jack ten of spades opens up with a raise. Too much. Too much. One for Rigby's gonna get in there with the ace four of spades. Stefan Leonard here in the big blind. Gets out of the way with deuce four. Got Rigby versus Benacci. That's the one they've been waiting for, guys. Two big stacks. Here we go. As we predicted earlier, a potential clash between the two big stacks. And here it is. The money bubble is at stake. The two biggest stacks in the room, both with a flush draw. Bonacci has a gut shot as well. Oh, boy. If a spade comes, we can see some blood here. And three of clubs on the turn. That's not going to create lots of blood, but we might go see a river card here. It's the queen of clubs. Blood was avoided as Rigby bets with the best hand here. Chat is going nuts on the idea of what a nine of spades would have done. Mark. Yeah. Jack high might have been good. Nah, he had a ace of spades. Jack, Ace-X the nine of spades would have given Bonacci a straight flush and Rigby really? the nut flush. That's how good my read is, bro. I had a... Uh, on his face, he had ace of spades. Jack, ten of spades. Did you really? Yeah. Came and check raise with the eights up there. Nine of spades one time. Oh my lord. I just come home here in the driveway washing the van. I think you had Jack 10 off, to be honest. What? I think you had Jack 10 off. Oh, off. Do you? I remember seeing a red Jack and a black van, but I could be wrong. I work on a see. See shortly. <laughs> We're still waiting for that bubble to burst. If you're joining us on YouTube, please don't forget to hit that like button. We're just about to hit our highest number of viewers ever on a YouTube stream. Oh, babe. About to hit 44,000. Is 50,000 possible? Yes, I think so. Let's go. Much love to everyone. Back into the ballroom. 
waiting for that big all-in hand. But first, let's listen to Boston Rob. On the stone-cold bubble at the main event here with Boston Rob, you've had moments competing for big prizes for a lot of money. What's this moment? like for you. I mean, this is epic. You know how much I love poker. This is the Super Bowl of poker. It's the main event. This is the biggest main event ever. And you're right. I've won millions of dollars doing other things. So $15,000 is not going to make a difference in my life. But the fact that I'm here right now, this is the deepest I've run on the main. I'm so excited. It's an electric feeling for sure. You started the day pretty short. I know you got the chips in earlier. How nerve-wracking was that all-in moment? I mean, they're paying 1,507 places. At 1,511, I had eight big blinds. I looked down at two aces. I get it all in, get called by King Queen, and luckily, I get a clean run out. So it's a good feeling. I'm feeling good right now, and uh, time to spin it up, right? Jack-10, though, on the flop, right? Yeah, Jack-10, <laughs> 6, turn was a 5, and river 7. So definitely a sweat, always a sweat. And finally, to go along with what we just discussed, do you feel like competing in high-pressure moments before gives you an edge in this tournament over the competition? I think a lot of people have that fight-or-flight mechanism, and I know I have fight. Like, I've known it, I've experienced it with other things I've done in life. So I love the competition, I love the drive, and uh, I'm just excited to be here. We're excited to have you here. Yeah. Best of luck the rest Thanks, of the way. Brother. Thanks, Rob. Boston Rob still in the mix there. Sitting next to 25K high roller winner Leon Sturm. And here's a look at the main event by the numbers. 10,043 this year. My question is, where do we go from here? 11,000 next year, 12,000. I feel like the sky is the limit with the main event. Now that we've cracked 10,000, this is now going to be the minimum expectation going forward. Very excited for the future of poker. Very excited for what is possible. We're still on the main event, Money Bubble. And I just want to give a shout out to the Mod Father, to Jimmy Bluffett, who was going to be in Vegas. He's one of our most valued moderators. But sadly, his father was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Jimmy Bluffett can't be here with us in Vegas. From the whole PokerGo crew, just want to send our love to Jimmy and his dad. We can't imagine what it is to go through this. So if you're watching us right now in the chat, send some love to Jimmy and his family. Here's a look at our PokerGo streaming schedule. Main event live every day, 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. Day 5, day 6, day 7, day 8. Then we have a day off, and then we have back-to-back -back final table action starting at 3 p.m. Absolutely incredible amount of action still waiting for us here in Las Vegas. So you better get your PokéGo subscription right now. Use promo code DREAM30 to save $30 on your annual sub. You're going to get front-to-back coverage of the world's greatest poker tournament. I love seeing all the support for Jimmy in the chat as we have another all-in to cover. Just waiting for all the action to complete. Ludovic Gaelic here at this table. The Scottish crusher, one of the most aggressive players I've ever seen on the European circuit. But this gentleman here, all in, awaiting his fate in this tournament. We're all on pause here as we hope that all the other action continues or concludes quickly so we can show you this showdown. If you're just tuning in, my name is Remco Rinkema, Donnie Peters alongside me to provide you money bubble coverage of the main event. And here's a look at some more milestones 
of the 2023 World Series of Boker. Helmuth, of course, getting a 17th bracelet. Rast winning the 50K PPC for the third time. And Chris Brewer on a massive heater, winning two bracelets so far. Because there are still more events left to be played. And Brewer is still in the main event. Shout out to everyone tuned in. The chat is filled with love. We love to see it. And if you're new to our community on YouTube, please know that we have a new poker video for you every single day on this channel. This morning, we posted Tom Bond's epic elimination from the main event. And here's a look at our PGT Dream Seed promotion. Give yourself a chance to win a seat in a million dollar free roll poker tournament played out in Las Vegas at the Poker Go studio. Use promo code DREAM30 to save $30 on your annual subscription. As we see Sean Winter and Michael Dueck chatting there in the center of the room. These two guys know exactly what they need to do in order to continue their deep run in this tournament. Dustin Griffin with a $9 donation saying, what happens if they have multiple people bust? If that happens, those people will split the 15K minimum payout. Right now, we're awaiting it all in here at this table. Huge moment for these players. Everyone, of course, got their phones out. That's a lot of chips in there. Yeah, the bubble. that is a massive <laughs> what pot. What is happening here? That is Are we going to see aces versus aces? I mean, that'd be funny, too. Would be even funnier if someone tried to run a bluff here on the bubble. Feels as though these players are telling each other what they have. <laughs> of course, chips already committed. We're just waiting for the outcome here. Calrid in the chat says, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> that is exactly the vibe of the money bubble in the main event. Tournament staff has basically gone on the microphone dozens of times telling people, please sit down, stay at your tables, don't stand on the chairs. It's like dealing with a room full of toddlers, Donnie. It is. I mean, poker players are a bunch of kids. I'm one of them. You're one of them. I mean, <laughs> that's how we all are. You bubble, you bubble the WSB main event, where are you going? Are you going home or are you going somewhere else? You're going to walk to the nearest door and punch a <laughs> hole in it. <laughs> Seriously, man. And then you're going to probably end up at the bar, and then you're going to end up Playing some blackjack just to numb the pain. See Johnny Chan out there still in the mix. One of the former champions of this main event. James Ops there. Bottom left in the foreground. Donnie, what's it like for Johnny Chan, who won this event? In 87 and 88. What's He's is probably it? thinking, can we speed this up? No, but what is he like what is he <laughs> thinking right now? Having won this event when it was basically a 10-table tournament, and now all of a sudden, it's this. It's 10,000 players. It's absurd. Know? I mean, he's probably super excited about poker's growth, you know, happy to see that the game has come this far, and he's able to still play it at a competitive level, be on the bubble of the WSB main event, compete here, and, you know, hopefully go on to take on a huge chunk of money. Jack Eiffel back on the mic. I believe this is the first of three all-in and calls on this hand of hand for hand play. So wow. a lot of action here. Here we go. This is the big pot we saw earlier. Let's see these cards. Aces, Aces and kings. kings. Oh no. Wow. And Kings at risk here, Donnie. Yeah, Kings at risk with a fairly healthy stack. Wow, you just run into aces. He's going to need a king on the river to stay alive. A 
And there's one. This means we're in the money. Yes, but there are still two more eliminations, or sorry, two more uh, hands to happen. So if one of those players busts, then this gentleman that just busted there with the Kings won't go home completely empty-handed. I mean, send your cash emojis in the chat because we are in the money. It is just a question of whether or not this bottom payout needs to be split or if the gentleman that we just saw is our official money bubble. Jack Effel on his way to the other tables that have an all-in player. This is why the action had to be paused. We're going to see two more all-in situations. If we see two more eliminations, the final three will all split 15K. Mori Eskandani there, also in the middle of the room. So the first player that busted, he's rooting for more eliminations yes. for sure. And he's got two shots. He's going to have two shots because there are two all-in and calls. Oh, there it is. We saw the gentleman earlier. All right. Queens versus Ace King. Another classic flip. Pure coin flip here. Everyone's got their phones out. Wow. Plus draw. Two overs. Wow. That first player who got eliminated is going to be over the moon. Oh, yes. All right, these guys are going to chop that 15K payout. And now the question is, are we going to see a third player get eliminated? Shout out to Enrique, our photographer, running around, catching the action. Antonio Obrego from our PokeGo squad, also in the mix, trying to capture this moment. This is on the river here. So oh, wow. He put me all in. Okay. And um, I, I actually left it up to be a chip. I said, if 777, I call. Logo side, I pull. And it was 777, purpose driven poker. Everything happens for a reason. I am eliminated. Aces and Islands, she has a pair of aces here. Aces and sixes for the king. All right. And he has four sixes. Quads! Quad sixes! What just happened there? Remco, are you putting your tournament life on the line at the WC Man Man Bubble at the flip of a coin? Donnie, everything happens for a reason. You just heard it. Wow, three eliminations on that final hand, meaning that the bottom payout is split three ways. Sorry, the bottom two payouts are split. take home 10k they're gonna get their money back so they just played four days for zero dollars hey but you know you're at this point happy to get your money back at wow, least now they're gonna flip for a free seat oh to next year's main event Here wait we go so they get a 10k refund by basically chopping the bottom two payouts and now we're gonna see a coin flip so somehow one of these players is gonna get more than the mid cash that's incredible you're gonna get 20k essentially <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. What is happening here? If you're enjoying this utter chaos, just don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I think we can still hit 10K likes and break the record from yesterday's stream. 10,000 likes on yesterday's stream. That was the record. Can we can we hit that right now? I can't believe she flipped a coin to call off a tournament life. I can't believe that that happened. I think uh, Knossi and Bretsky both made the money. Hopefully we get a look of, onto their stacks shortly here. Look, look at all the people running down the aisle there on the right-hand side. Uh, that's, all, that's all the camera crew trying to get over to that flip them in table. Still people standing on chairs. You will start on back on the penalty. We have the two seed, we're going to have her sit the two. And then where's my, there's my third, I see my third. I hope we get to see this flip. Yeah. 
I'm very curious to see what will happen here. Oh, here we there go. it is. Here we go. Look at this. What is happening here? Okay. <laughs> this is more hectic than the bubble table. <laughs> Alright, so the three players that were eliminated are all going to get a hand. They're going to run out one Texas Hold'em hand. Winner of that hand gets a seat to next year's WSOP main event. Wow. So these players are already chopping up 30k between them. So they're going to get 10k each. And now... Right in order. One, 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 one. All right, now let's flip them up and let's see what we got for this flip. We've got seven Queen diamonds, four. three of spades, queen of diamonds, four of hearts, and the two so hearts and the nine of spades. Hey, listen, you guys seven, all have a good shot. Three, shot queen, right? four, right. and nine, let's dude, so. Let's take a look so at the flop and take it real slow. Let's sweat it just All premium hands here, for sure. Seat. All right, ten of hearts, tray of hearts, king of diamonds. All right, right now, King 10-3, so the 7-3 is in the lead. There's the woman in seat one or two over there. She's currently in the lead, but obviously has to fade a lot here. Let's take a look at the fourth card here. Here comes the turn. Oh, it's a queen. The gentleman in seat five is now in front with his pair of queens. So shift it to this other gentleman. Let's take a look at the river card. Turn the jack and it could come a jack for this nine over here. Oh! And it did. Oh, it's a jack. The, river card the third jack gentleman makes a straight. straight. And the third oh my God. over here is going to win this $10,000 seat in the next year. Hey, you and better fist bump that dealer. <laughs> three cards in a row. A pair of threes, a pair of queens, and a straight. All right. Congratulations, my friend. You're going to get a seat in next year's World Series Poker Main Event. What's your name? Zippa. Zippa. Okay, give me the full name. Zippa Piscop. Yepa Buskar, ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause for Yepa Buskar. He's our winner for next year. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Hey, it's, it's not bad. You guys get 10K each. You got a set in here next year. Bad. It's a great time. Yeah. All right, congratulations. Charlie, let's get these guys back in action. Thank you, Jack. All right, all dealers, please take your seats. All players, back in your seats. Donnie, it is time for some poker action. The money bubble has burst. The madness is over, but a whole like, yeah, different kind of madness yeah, is about to ensue. 1,507 players all guaranteed that minimum payout. And now the battle for so the final table is back on. We're going to see so many eliminations in the so next the, few the, hours. The you and I have about 20 minutes yes. left here on <laughs> our free <laughs> feed okay. before we kick right. it over to Lon, Maria, and Will so, yeah. Jaffe. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this bubble coverage, please smash that like button right now. Show us some love. We've broken the record. Most viewers ever on a YouTube feed. And also, subscribe to our YouTube Ooh, channel while you're at it. Cookies. You should get another beer. I will. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. No more hand-for-hand -hand play. <laughs> Back to normal poker action. Whew. You can just watch day two. Relatively short Gator? bubble for what we're used some to seeing on the World Series <laughs> Poker <laughs> main event know. bubble. Only you know in your you know, heart. Some, some years it takes <laughs> three, four <laughs> hours. I have those queens against to get to the money. Like that. Like that. Man, I watch you literally fold for two hours. I think I think all of my just confused him. They thought the R uh, RFID uh, readers were wrong because like queens were just like like right in. Yeah. I was so open mark. What? He just opened mark queens? Yeah. He told everyone at one point, there was like an hour left. He said, I'm content with my stack. It's been fun. I will play, be playing any hands if I get aces. I didn't say, I, I said, I'll be playing aces. You said there's a select few hands, hands. The money will be going in. So and, aces and are I said, kings. I will not be betting. Aces are be kings. You weren't going to do it with ace king. Yeah. Aces are kings, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some guy opens and he just ships 200,000. And the guy went in the tank with queens. Like, you obviously have aces. And I'm just walking around completely comfortable laughing, and it takes like three minutes, and it's like, I just want to be like, dude, it's fucking clearly obvious what I have. And if for some reason, like, you have the diaper, then God bless you. Like, yeah. you have that little moment where you fold it for two hours to show the diaper. Sometimes when you're Which would have been fucking amazing. Yeah, but sometimes when you're a little too drunk, you just need to know how to hit the brakes. Call it a night. Uh, We've all been there. <laughs> That's a table game mentality. 100%. Not a poker player. A gambler. Congratulations, you're on the way! 
There it is, the official announcement from Charlie Cherisi. All right, there it is. Finally, the dust has settled. <laughs> Cards are back in the air. Let's go. Play Let's play some poker. Now, if you're one of those big stacks that you might have been middle? abusing what? the bubble, the, di 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 oh, excuse me. the dynamic likely instantly changes, or at least it should change. You know, you should really reel it back in because people are going to be getting kind of frisky. You don't need to be splashing around with your chips right now, so. It's almost like at this point you were but you were playing know, extremely you. loose, likely on the bubble. Now you okay. probably play a no little bit too beard. tight. Thanks, man. Solid. But think things will get back to normal Thank shortly. You. But you know you can fade a lot of those early eliminations. Some do say fade, taking some dents to your uh, stack, all that sort of stuff. By just locking Where's it up right now for a little yeah, while. The cards too on the end of day six after what? I blocked with the two three against Kings. Okay. Because I busted there shortly after. But. Okay. Taking the last two levels off. See you boys tomorrow. First Did hand post nice money bubble for Bunch. Day. Raising it up with tens. Great conversation. Great conversation. A quadle bomb, by the way, was on our horseshoe table earlier, Donnie. Late regged for the main event. I believe you were still in the main when he sat down. He's definitely won. I was doing commentary that. Oh, day. you were there from with me when he sat down. He yeah. was at Helmy's table and he yes. ordered tequila. And then, what we couldn't show, he got into an altercation with Phil Helmy. Called him a baby, and Helmy didn't like that. Yeah, he called him a giant baby. Helmy was not happy. <laughs> they had a bit of a scuffle. Words were exchanged. Sixteen. Costa here raising it up with King Jack of Diamonds. My biggest question of the day is will Nick Rigby continue playing his regular style? And my question has been answered here right away. So I spoke with Nick Rigby after yesterday's play for an interview on the Poker Pro <laughs> podcast. And he said that, you know, he's going to stick to his guns. He's going to keep playing his style. It's obviously not easy to play against someone like him. But he also did mention that if he makes it to the dinner break, you will not see him back immediately after the dinner break because every time he plays the main event, he loses the first hand back from dinner break and usually loses a chunk of chips. So now he's just going to skip that. So he said, I'm going to show up 10, 15 minutes late after dinner and miss the first couple hands. <laughs> well, he would have been better off missing this hand as well as Costa moves all in for 228K. Sorry, Mr. Gratton. I mean, that's a spot where, you know, kind of going back to what I said, Costa's going to be more willing okay, to get it in there with the King Jack hand yeah, sure. now that you're in the money versus on the bubble. Bubble, that's you're folding the King Jack for sure. Here, you're, he's in the money, so if he does go in, if he does run into a better hand, if he runs into something like Ace King, he ultimately loses. Well, at least you're coming home with 15K, so it's not the end of the world. Exactly right. A little look here at our event center. The bubble has burst. All right, we are in the money at the World Series of Poker main event. Out at the Grand Ballroom, that means our friend Cody has made it. You are in the money, my friend. I know it's an emotional moment. It's yeah. emotional for, for all of us, certainly. If, if you can, how would you put this moment into words? Uh, I, uh, I can't. I'm just, I, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, this is like... Yeah, the magic carpet ride continues. It's just absolutely insane, and uh, dreams come true. I, I, That's what it's all about right there. Let me send you back to the action. We'll catch up plenty later. Congratulations. Thank you, right. Jeff. You I got appreciate it. it. Cody Daniels battling a terminal illness. I get, I mean, hard for me to even speak. I get chills. Just thinking about this moment for him. He knows sadly that his days, months, maybe years are numbered and he gets a chance to play the main event and he gets a chance to finish in the money of the main event. Donnie, what a what a what a bizarre what a bizarre roller coaster of emotions that must be. 
Yes, but very good for him to be able to, you know, knock this one off the bucket list, off the, uh, off the, you know, the dream list there of getting into this money here. You know, dream number one, play the WSB main event, and he did that. You can just see me all And now he's in the money, and we'll see if that dream can continue. Because it would be absolutely great to see. Wow, Quattlebaum here all in with Jack-8 suited on this Jack-high flop with two diamonds. Rigby somehow involved with 7-3 suited. And did we see somebody had pocket 10s that they folded as well? This, this hand is crazy. <laughs> What's going on? We'll see what happens. The smoke. Go play the win. Hold it, please. <laughs> is this a tell? The uh, shove and then go stand up and talk with your rail? That's my dealer. So pretty. Thank you. On the way to Smart Pills. Thank you. Those are my Adderall. He was just bringing them to me. That was not a legal drug purchase. Race 17. Okay. <laughs> quite a <long>. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be quite a character here if he makes a run in the main event. <laughs> I mean, jeez. They, they actually gave Rigby two good cards. Ace, queen. He's going to three bet once again. He plays him like aces, of course. Understandable. Dickerson opened. Rigby three bet. Leonard folded behind with two sevens. Bonacci's going to give up the deuces there. He's still nervous. Play folds back over to Dickerson. <laughs> Rigby talking to him. Apparently not. <laughs> Interesting dynamic here. Dickerson clearly aware of Rigby's playing style. But with pocket sixers, you're sort of on the defense, Donnie. Yeah, I mean, he's deep enough. He can just see a flop, gets, see if he sees a favorable so texture. Nice. You know, ideally flops the set <laughs> and goes from there. Yeah, Rigby, of course, always going to continue unless you flop a set. You're going to have a pretty easy decision here. And Rigby now up to 1.8 million. Only a matter of time for, before this guy has two million chips. Thirty-five years old, the man who represents Pittsburgh proudly. Doug Polk, of course, still in the mix as well. We have Great. Coverage on Pokego.com until roughly 1 a.m. local time in Las Vegas. That's 4 a.m. on the East Coast, 10 a.m. in Europe. So we're going to try to show you a little bit of everything. Hopefully get Duck Polk back in the mix at some point today. He was on the feature table late last night. Had a bit of a roller coaster, but ended up bagging, I think, his peak stack. Just about 600K. If you're new to our coverage of the main event, we always give away some for free on our social channels. But in order to provide you with this coverage for 14 days in a row, our main show, the all-day affair, is going to be on Pokego.com. You can subscribe, get a monthly sub for 15 bucks, watch the whole main event. You can get a quarterly sub. Or, of course, the best value is our annual subscription. Promo code DREAM30. Get your $30 off the annual sub. And we got lots more planned on PokerGo for the remainder of the year. New episodes of High Stakes Poker and No Gamble, No Future coming shortly as well. And here's a look at Nick Rigby's WSP main event runs back in 2021. He was 78th after day two and 293rd after day three. Donnie, he's doing even better this year. He is doing even better. Guy's a beast, man. He's a beast. He'd be one heck of a player to have sit down at your table, especially with the stack that he has. I mean, good luck playing against that guy. Seriously. Let us know in the chat, are you a fan of Nick Rigby, or are you somehow one of those people <laughs> rooting against the fun playing style of him? Here's Sigliano, pocket fives. We saw him stall to make the money as Ketzer here with King Jack of Clubs 
on the button is involved against him. 160k in the middle. Sigliano, of course, happy, happy to make the money. But now, the run might start, but maybe it doesn't. King 9A, two hearts. Ketzer, top pair with the jack kicker. Sigliano looking for a five and a five only to stay in this event. Turn card. Jack of diamonds doesn't change a thing. Still looking for a five. Ketzer doesn't hit it. He's going to be eliminated. Grava um moment. Ah, não pode? Ah, é verdade. River card. Nine of clubs. Ketzer sends Sigliano to the rail. Thank you. Ketzer, one of the top Brazilian tournament players. Plays a lot online. Also travels the circuit quite a bit. And a shout out to those confused about our streaming quality here today. We had we're having some issues you. with YouTube and our bit rate, but I can promise you, PokerGo.com, Ultra HD, or whatever the cool kids say these days. <laughs> 4K, 4K, whatever, whatever that number. 5K, 10K. I don't even know where they're at. Where are we at? We're the those? we're the boomers now, man. <laughs> yeah, Donnie, you and I are old now. Uh, either way, yeah, those issues are not caused by our signal. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, Remco. If Fleet Ketzer stays up on this table, yeah, extremely entertaining player. Very creative with his lines. Can certainly be hyper aggressive. So I could see him, Dominic Niche, clashing a bit. They got a lot of chips. That could be a lot of fun. Every time we do the broadcast for the main event, Donnie, I joke about what my ideal main event final table will look like. And I've already decided that I want a Brazilian. I want a Mexican. I want a former main event champion. You I want, want Rigby. I want Rigby. <laughs> I want a I want a woman, maybe even two women at the final table. I'm trying to put together the best blend of characters. And if we're picking a main event champion, I, I just cannot decide between the options that we have left. Because we have we have Moneymaker, Hashem, and Gold. That's from the from the heyday era. And then we have people that we all enjoyed watching more recently, Blumstein, Kata. And, of course, the OG Johnny Chan. Meanwhile, Chris Moneymaker in the mix here. Ferris raising it up. King-Queen suited. Moneymaker three-betting. Has Chris Moneymaker been working on his game, Donnie? I think he has been. And I think if you, if you want to continue to take poker seriously, then, you know, you should be working on your game. Is he studying 10 hours a day? Maybe not, but, you know, you can study here and there, pick up some new things. Even if you're doing, you know, things that you don't necessarily think are studying, such as watching poker on Poker Go, you can pick up a lot of stuff watching players play, seeing what players are doing these days, how they're acting, what their race sizes are, stuff like that. And you can certainly improve. Chris, though, is all, you know, he's always had a really good feel for the game and, and what's happening all at the table. All in, out. Count, please. Wow. Ferris all in for 252,000 chips. I cannot see Moneymaker folding here. I can't see him folding either. I mean, it's just you're not you're not fist pump calling, but you're calling. It's button versus small blind, so it's a bit of a situational setup as well. Moneymaker now sees that he is in a dominating position here. Moneymaker ace queen of hearts, 71% to win this hand. Ferris tournament life on the line with the pretty looking king queen of clubs but some clubs would be very much needed in this scenario there it is one club with the jack and the seven behind it started out strong there with that window card see if he can turn some additional equity ferris maybe the ten of clubs it is the nine of diamonds nine st helps st still giving him additional outs a king or a ten would keep ferris in the tournament if not chris moneymaker approaching one million chips. You got to win these showdowns if you want to win the main event. And there it is, eight of spades on the river. Ferris to the rail. Chris Moneymaker up to 992,000 chips. I can't help but the root for Chris Moneymaker, Don. How can you not? Josh Ferris there eliminated. I believe he'll take home 15K in that first uh, payout group. 120K. They were three. But there was 10k for one. Yeah, you won better than everybody else. <laughs> no. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
How do you win um, 20K? Because you, the, they paid the bubble a main event seat for next year. Yeah. So it's 10K, obviously. Then he won, they split the 30K three ways. So he won 10K there. Oh, wow. So he actually did better than yeah. like the next like 300 people. That's amazing. Yeah. True story. <laughs> That's true. I just, whatever. Yeah. Currently on six handed on this outer feature table as we. Wait for them to break some tables. We'll get some new people in here as they filter in. 20. Of course, you know, as Remco mentioned, the eliminations will be fast and furious now, so players will be moving around quite a bit. So if you're watching now and if you watch later on Poker Go, you know, you can expect some new characters to filter in throughout the live stream. Andrews here comes in with a raise with Ace 10. Ward's in the big blind. Could see him defend here, but you know, the two and a half X raise might be something he likes to pass on as well. Yeah, he does. Please know that. As long as you're getting hand hit. Poker Go is now also available on threads. <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly that's a big deal. Our social media manager Sam has told us that we're gonna hit ten thousand followers on threads this week. Oh let's go. We're at sixty five hundred. Let's go. So if you're if you're on threads, give us a look. We have some cool content on there as well. Myself, Remco Rinkama and Donnie Peters also available on all the platforms. Yeah, follow us. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Is this a new record for likes? Seventy seven hundred? Our our record for likes was li yesterday's stream okay. with Tom Dwan. Ten thousand. Okay. okay okay wow. Jeez. So we're not gonna hit the record for likes. We did hit a record for most concurrent viewers on the money bubble. Crazy. 46,000 people watching our feed. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. And we, of course, Donnie and I, the B team. Lon, Maria, and Will Jaffe on the call on PokerGo.com. They are live right now as well. Interesting one here between Dickerson and Costa. Queen, Jack, 5, 4 board. Two clubs on the flop. Turn action here. Dickerson checked his two pair. Costa bet twenty one thousand. Seventy. Dickerson comes with a check raise and gets it done. That must have been Dickerson raising it up from the cutoff seat with Jack four diamond. So getting a little aggressive there in late position. Ever since I mentioned ten k likes being our record. The number is shooting up. I mean, hey, if I we can get there, we can get there. Let's go. I feel like people <laughs> want to be part of something that sets a record. And I cannot disagree with that. <coughs> By the way, most importantly, though, notification bell. I've been told that's the most important thing. Hit the notification By bell. By who? By, By the people. That, oh, the, the, people. Peop the people that know. The people that know. Because then you get notified as Bonacci with a little micro nap, perhaps inspired by Phil Hellmuth, if you watched our coverage a few days ago, Phil Helmut claiming that micro naps were his key to success. But yes, our stream here, <laughs> our stream here <laughs> on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch about to end. Of course, we don't want it to end, but you know, we have to pass the torch to the people on PokerGo.com. We're putting on a massive production. Over 100 people involved in showing you every single day of the main event. If you're not able to do so, we totally understand as well. In that case, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're going to get your daily highlights and your big hand moments. And on, and on social media, you'll see all of our best clips. But uh, myself, well, well, Remco, uh, and Donnie, we just love hanging out with you guys on the social streams. Yeah, I mix it up everywhere. Steelers got rid of Landry Jones, right? He went to OU. I don't know. Dickerson here um, with tens and a king showing on the board. Pick it to pick it. Huh? Rigby doing what we've seen him do many yeah. times is he calls preflop nice. and then leads from the small blind. We saw that many, many times from him so far in the main event. He's going to check this turn though. Where was home before here? Yeah, Oklahoma State. Yeah. No, my, my I won't, wouldn't be surprised if Rigby has additional tricks up his sleeve, even in a hand like this. Of course. Tough winters. 
And right now he's got queen uh, high, so does he want to continue to fire at this lately. one? I'm Try and take it down, or is he just going to shut it down? Looks like he's going to take option B, shut it down. Quick check behind from Dickerson. Dickerson's going to collect this pot. I mean, listen, you can say what you want about Rigby's style of play. He's certainly on the looser side of things, but he has extremely good card sense and situational sense. Like, he's not always just blasting, blasting, blasting. Yes, yeah, sometimes he is, but other times, you know, he's very aware of kind of where he is in a hand. And I think that's what's allowed him to get so many chips up over 1.8 million now. Dickerson there. Got the bling, man. Look at this guy. Wow. Love it. All right, this will be our final hand of the free stream. Bonacci looking down at pocket fives. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Before we even see his cards, I know that Rigby is going to play. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his button V pip is 100%. He does flat call on the button with the two fours. Stefan Lenner here. And the small blind with eight, seven of hearts, he also calls. Al Muselli has two tens in the big blind. Okay. Amuseli here in the big blind. He has 41, 42 big blinds here. See how he wants to play this one. Bonacci did open under the gun, so you know players opening under the gun usually tend to lean a little bit stronger. We see Bonacci's not the strongest here with two fives, but all right, Amuseli is going to make the call. We're going to go four ways here on what will be the final hand of our YouTube live stream. Ace, Jack, Eight. I feel like every player hates that flop. The action checks to Bonacci. He checks. Rigby also checks. Jack pairs the board on the turn. Checks to Rigby once again. 50. Can't check to this man twice. I mean, he's not checking two two times in a row. He's gonna fire a bet here, 50k. Leonard gets out of the way. Now Muselli here. He has the best hand. And he has 90% chance to take this one down if it gets the showdown, but he's gonna give it up there. Bunachi also kicks it in, and Nicholas Rigby takes it down. All right, on that note, we're going to have to sign off here. My name is Rem Karinkin with Donnie Peters. Thank you all so much for watching. Alon McCarran, Maria Ho, and Will Jaffe on the call right now on Pokego.com. Action will continue until 1 a.m. tonight. So you got about seven, eight, nine, however many hours left of poker to watch on day four of the main event. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you tomorrow for our next free preview.